All right, thanks, Andrew. All right, if you happen to check out the agendas at the State House the past couple of days, you probably noticed they were a little on the light side, as in nothing really happening on committees or in chambers. That changes today. Rules have been set, so let the show go on, as they say. This week, lawmakers are talking about some of the intricate rules legislatures, the legislature operates around. One of those rules, some call it a loophole, to get legislation to the House floor without it going through the proper process. So an idea has been pitched to kind of close up that loophole. Joe Paris, following that discussion and the idea that could penalize local governments that push back on the state's abortion law. Joe? Yeah, let's first talk about uh, this perceived loophole. And really, this is exactly what we're talking about in the sense that there's a lot of people that call it a loophole, but really, it's, it's actually just a house rule that can be used at different frequencies. Last year, we saw it a lot. Previous years, not so much. But taking a step back, in the legislature, almost all legislation goes through a process that involves going through a committee and then to the House floor or the Senate floor. However, there is a limited window at the beginning of the legislative session, which we're in right now, where Idaho lawmakers can get a personal bill printed without the the whole process of committee going on. So there's also a mechanism where that bill, that personal bill, it can be called up to the floor for conversation without the committee process. Last session, that mechanism was utilized by now former representative Ron Nate to talk about the grocery tax bill. He argued that the personal bill process was the only way to get his idea debated because committee chairs wouldn't allow it to pass through, effectively killing the idea. Back to this year, Representative Britt Raybould introduced a change to the rule so that personal or informational bills, as they're called, can be printed. Yes, but they can't be called to the floor in the way they have been in past years. The idea also caps personal bills at three per session because there is a workload for legislative services offices that comes with it. They could get overloaded, you understand. Now, Representative Raybould detailed her idea and answered a major clarifying question in committee. This is solely addressing what you may have previously heard referred to as the personal bill process, where these are bills that are essentially produced for the purposes of giving them a bill number and making them public. Uh, that process in and of itself, I believe, is detrimental to the committee process and encouraging our representatives to go through regular order and the regular committee process, I believe, is the right way to encourage ideas being brought forward for the public to have the opportunity to weigh in and for us to consider as representatives. So if, if uh, one were to file an informational bill, then there would be no, uh, there's essentially nothing else that happens. It just sits in the clerk's office. There's no way to call it to the floor. Is that, is that correct? Chairman Crane and Representative Gannon, yes, that is correct. You still have the opportunity to call bills to the floor from the regular committee process. I can only speak for myself, but I believe that we are doing a disservice to the public when we attempt to pull a bill onto the floor without it ever having had the opportunity to have a public hearing and have the opportunity for the public to participate in those deliberations. Republican Representative Heather Scott made a point in response. Sometimes, again, a committee chair will simply not allow a bill to get through a committee, if it does happen for a variety of reasons. Now, her point, Representative Scott here, is that the personal bill process and having it called directly to the floor can be the only way around a committee chair that simply won't hear a bill. Representative Raybould suggested that Representative Scott pursue a rule change that would require committee chairs to hear all bills. We'll see where all of this goes, specifically the idea from Raybould that did pass out of committee and is on to the full House to consider, so that should inspire some pretty good debate. 